So, just to sum up, I would do various things very quickly. I would repeal and replace the big lie Obamacare. Yeah. I would build a great wall, and nobody builds walls better than me, believe me. And I'll build them very inexpensively. I will build a great, great wall on our southern border. Fort Huachuca is the headquarters of Army Intelligence. It is five miles from the Mexico border in Arizona. Here, the border is secured only by railroad rails. It was used as the background of a political cartoon. On December 1, 2016, three weeks after Donald Trump was elected president, and nearly three weeks before he was inaugurated, the U.S. Park Service granted a permit to build eight integrated fixed towers in and near the Coronado National Forest, just south of Fort Huachuca. The permit was issued by the Obama administration. Integrated fixed towers are about 100 feet high and use radar to guide day-night cameras. Integrated fixed towers were first installed near Nogales, Arizona. In a joint September 2015 press release, Elbit, makers of the towers, said the system meets its requirements to detect, track, identify, and classify movements on the border. Mark Borkowski, assistant CBP commissioner and father of the IFT idea, said the IFT program is a critical element within our border strategy. Three days later, following an aerial survey of the Nogales IFT systems, the nonprofit watchdog group American Border Patrol raised concerns. ABP said the towers were situated in very hilly terrain. In 2012, Borkowski told a reporter that integrated fixed towers would not be used in areas with hills and mountains and only where the towers have clear visibility. This seems to be inconsistent with where CBP actually placed the towers near Nogales. On March 22nd of 2016, Chief Vitiello certified that the Nogales towers met CBP's operational requirements. Two days later, he testified that the towers worked in flat terrain. In its official advertisements, Elbit, manufacturer of the towers, says they cover open terrain. Wikipedia says open terrain is mostly flat and free of trees. This integrated fixed tower was placed in the Coronado Forest, three miles from Mexico. On February 6, 2018, Elbit announced that integrated fixed towers in the Coronado National Forest south of Fort Huachuca had been accepted by Customs and Border Protection. Added to towers already accepted at Nogales and Douglas, the total number of accepted was now 23. And today I'm going to highlight our key findings and recommendations. First, as it relates to the deployment of surveillance technologies, DHS has made progress. As of November 2017, DHS had completed deployment of selected technology technologies to areas in Arizona, Texas, and California. These technologies include fixed and mobile assets with cameras and radars. For example, DHS reported deploying all planned remote video surveillance systems and mobile surveillance capability systems to Arizona. DHS also, also deployed 15 of 53 integrated fixed tower systems to Arizona as of November 2017. GAO's gambler said as of November 2017, the month Donald Trump was elected president, CBP had deployed 15 integrated fixed towers in Arizona. More than a month earlier, it was reported that CBP had deployed and accepted 23 integrated fixed towers. She could have gotten current information from the man who certifies integrated fixed towers. He was sitting right next to her at the hearing. American Border Patrol said the GAO and Congress should make sure the towers are properly tested. ABP learned that a year earlier, GAO said the towers were not being properly tested. Rebecca Gambler has testified before Congress many times, yet the message that the integrated fixed tower systems were never tested never sank in. Elbit had announced acceptance of the Douglas Towers in 2017. Eight towers had been erected, some in questionable locations. In 2019, work began on a new wall. 20 miles near Douglas, where towers had been installed two years earlier. 
It is a $400 million project. very near one of the integrated fixed towers. As of June 1, 2020, DHS had no plans for a new wall south of Fort Huachuca. Apparently, existing vehicle barriers and integrated fixed towers are sufficient to protect Army Intelligence Headquarters. DHS has no plans for a new wall along one of the busiest migration and smuggling corridors in Arizona. Instead, it will rely on 10 integrated fixed towers. 